OpenAI is rolling out GPT 4.5 in just weeks. Adobe's AI is generating videos, and Elon Musk claims Grok 3 is scary smart. With AI companies racing to outdo each other, things are getting wild, so let's break it all down. All right, so first up, the hype surrounding GPT 4.5 is pretty big. Sam Altman, who's the CEO of OpenAI, has confirmed that GPT 4.5 is going to be released in just a few weeks. Internally, they call it Orion, and it's supposedly going to be OpenAI's last non-chain of thought model. So basically, they're trying to move away from an approach where the model just spits out results without deeply reasoning in the background. GPT 4.5, or Orion, will be the final iteration that sticks to that older system. After that, we'll be seeing GPT 5, which is the first big step for OpenAI toward full-on chain of thought, COT reasoning across all tasks. If you're wondering what chain of thought or COT means, it basically refers to the AI going through multiple steps or lines of thinking, almost like brainstorming behind the scenes to arrive at an answer. Right now, a lot of the big LLMs, or large language models, don't publicly show that hidden chain of thought. But going forward, OpenAI wants to focus on building models that really think step-by-step -step under the hood, even if they don't show you every single thought. Sam Altman has also said that GPT-5 might unify the O series and the GPT series models, so they don't have to force users to pick from a bunch of different submodels. If you've used OpenAI's API or messed around with ChatGPT, you've probably noticed there's GPT-4, GPT-3.5, some specialized O reasons, models, and so on. It can get a bit complicated. Altman basically said, we hate the model picker as much as you do, so they want a single platform that just works for everyone. That sounds like a step in the right direction because it's definitely a little confusing right now. Speaking of timelines, GPT-4.5 should arrive in a few weeks and GPT-5 should drop in a few months. Altman hinted that when GPT-5 is available, free ChatGPT users will get unlimited chat access with what he calls a standard intelligence setting. Then there's ChatGPT+, which will have a higher intelligence level, and ChatGPT Pro, which will apparently unlock even more advanced capabilities. This approach makes sense, many people expect, that if you pay more, you'll get more powerful features. What's also interesting is that GPT-5, as part of that new era of chain of thought reasoning, might decide on its own when it needs to perform prolonged reasoning. One of the biggest criticisms of ChatGPT or GPT-4 is that it sometimes cuts answers short or doesn't delve deeply enough. If GPT-5 can decide on its own to think longer and refine an answer, that could be a game changer for more complex tasks. Now, there have been rumors that GPT-5 was over budget and behind schedule back in December, but apparently the plans are back on track, at least according to Sam Altman's updates on social media. The entire AI community is watching closely because GPT-5 might shape the next wave of AI applications in basically every industry you can imagine. And speaking of adapting to this new AI-driven world, there's a great opportunity to level up your skills and stay ahead of the curve. That's why we've teamed up with Growth School for this video to bring you something truly valuable that could help you thrive in this rapidly evolving landscape. 2024 has been a whirlwind, jobs popping up everywhere, but layoffs are just as common. It's a wild ride, and even if things feel secure now, you never know what's around the corner. That's why I think having multiple streams of income isn't just smart, it's essential. Here's where AI comes in. With the right tools and skills, you could seriously start earning an extra $10,000 a month. Now, if you're wondering how to get started, Growth School has something really cool. They're offering a three-hour hands-on AI training where you'll learn to use over 25 powerful AI tools. Normally it's paid, but the first 1,000 AI Revolution viewers can join for free using the link in the description. On top of that, you'll get $500 worth of bonus resources just for signing up. The training covers everything. Job hunting tips, salary negotiation, mastering Excel, even content creation. And it's not just for tech experts. Whether you're in finance, sales, marketing, HR, or even still studying, this can work for you. Growth School has already helped millions of people level up, and this could be your turn to stay ahead in an AI-driven world. So if this sounds like your kind of thing, hit the link below to grab your free spot. Plus, don't miss joining Growth School's WhatsApp community. It's a great place to connect with others diving into AI too.
All right, now let's talk about Adobe's Firefly video model. So Adobe just announced it's now available in public beta. This is pretty exciting if you're into creative stuff or you make videos. Firefly was originally more about images and text effects. Now it's expanding to generate short AI videos up to five seconds in length, 1080p resolution at 24 frames per second. They say they're working on 4K soon, which should be really cool. Being able to just type a prompt and generate a short clip could transform the way people add B-roll to projects or create entire scenes from scratch. Adobe also introduced new subscription plans specifically for Firefly. They've got Firefly Standard at $9.99 a month and Firefly Pro at $29.99 a month. The difference is in how many video or audio credits you get, basically how many AI operations you can do for generating new content. Standard gives you 2,000 video slash audio credits each month while Pro bumps you up to 7,000. And they mentioned that if you blow through all your credits, you can always upgrade to a higher tier or buy multiple Pro plans. They're also teasing a future premium plan that's supposed to have even more capacity. Something to keep in mind here is that even if you already have a Creative Cloud subscription, that doesn't automatically give you unlimited video generation. It sounds like you'll get a limited trial of these new features, but if you want extensive access, you'll probably need one of these Firefly plans. Adobe says they really want Firefly to be IP friendly and commercially safe, so they've trained it on data sets that presumably avoid issues like copyright infringement. They're also working on direct integration with apps like Photoshop, Premiere Pro, and Express. Now, Elon Musk's XAI is shaking things up with its latest AI model, Grok3. At the World Government Summit in Dubai, Musk called Grok3 scary smart, saying it can come up with solutions you wouldn't anticipate. According to Musk, Grok3 uses synthetic data and a self-correcting mechanism to maintain logical consistency. This is different from how ChatGPT typically uses massive amounts of real-world data. One of the huge claims is that Grok3 training required a whopping 200 million GPU hours on XAI's Colossus supercluster, which apparently has 100,000 NVIDIA H100 GPUs. That's insane computing power, and if Musk's numbers are accurate, it dwarfs many other AI training setups. For context, there's a Chinese model called DeepSeek V3 that took about 2.7 million GPU hours to train. So Grok3 is in a completely different league in terms of raw computational resources. Musk also mentioned that even though they haven't done fine tuning yet, Grok3's base model already outperforms Grok2 by a big margin. Another interesting twist, they plan to let the bot scrape X, the social media platform previously known as Twitter, in real time. That might give it a more direct pipeline to the latest trending data and user conversations. They're also talking about an unhinged mode, which by XAI's own admission, can produce content that's intentionally offensive or inappropriate. It's unclear how that's going to be managed responsibly, but it sounds like they're trying to separate safer default usage from the more edgy stuff. In terms of competition, Musk believes Grok3 might actually beat GPT 4.5 to market, saying it could be released in about a week or two, though it's not entirely clear if that means publicly or just for a limited group. We also don't know if it'll be behind a paywall. Previously, Grok2 had been available only to X Premium subscribers, then they made it free to all X users, and apparently there's now a standalone website as well. This push towards chain of thought reasoning or reasoning AI is a big deal. We're seeing that not just from OpenAI, but from Chinese researchers and from Musk's XAI. People want AI that can solve tough problems, think deeply, and reflect on mistakes. For instance, Musk says Grok3 can identify incorrect information, reflect on it, and remove it if it doesn't match reality. If that's legit, it might help reduce hallucinations, which is that phenomenon where a chatbot invents details that aren't actually true. And get this, XAI is already talking about scaling their supercluster to a million GPUs for future versions of Grok. That's basically heading straight toward artificial general intelligence territory, at least in Musk's words. Of course, every step forward is also followed by a wave of ethical and regulatory questions. So it'll be interesting to see how governments respond as these systems become ever more powerful. Another thing to keep an eye on is 
how all these new models handle user privacy and data. Both Sam Altman and Elon Musk have had to deal with skepticism about how they use massive amounts of data for training. Musk is obviously letting Grok3 pull data from X in real time, but that might raise concerns about user consent, especially if the chatbot is repurposing user tweets in its responses. Similar issues have come up for ChatGPT, which trained on huge swaths of text from the internet. All in all, the next few weeks and months are shaping up to be quite a ride for AI enthusiasts. We're on the brink of GPT 4.5 dropping, GPT 5 is on the horizon, and Adobe's Firefly is bringing generative videos into the mainstream. Meanwhile, Elon Musk wants Grok3 to be an answer to everything and might release it even sooner than GPT 4.5. It's definitely a race and a complicated one at that. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.